Thanks for shopping at Innovatech. Yeah, whatever. You've been doing great on your first day of work, Connor. Thanks, Dad. Can you put my iPad in my office for me? Sure, of course. Whoa, getting to know how Dad runs his business is so cool. That really is a tech genius. Huh, what is this, a keypad? I wonder what this goes to. Let's see, what would be Dad's password? Maybe my birthday? 5606. Whoa, it worked! What is this? Oh my gosh! Hey, out of my way, punk! Ah! Dad! Dad, help! Nathan, what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm taking what you owe me! What's he talking about, Dad? I guess Dad never told you that you had an older brother. Or that he's secretly a billionaire! What? Nathan, put the money down or I'm calling the police! Fine! Tap! Dad, you have a lot of explaining to do! So, why didn't you tell me you were a billionaire? Your mother and I raised Nathan with billions after I founded Innovatech. He became so spoiled and entitled. I gave him his trust fund when he turned 18 and cut him off. You were just a baby when he left. I'm really sorry I kept all this from you. This is a lot to process, Dad. I don't like that you lied to me. I know, and I'm sorry. What was that? Is someone else here? Call the police, Connor. Quickly. Ha! <laughs> Are you gonna call the police on your own brother, idiot? Nathan, what do you want? The money I owed. That's what I want. You know what? Fine. Take it and go. 500 bucks? Ah, uh, no. I'm gonna need more than that. I gave you $25 million to live off of. You shouldn't need any more money. $25 million? Wow, you are spoiled. Shut up, little bro. You deserve nothing. If you blew through all that money, that's your fault, not ours. All right, old man, this isn't over. I'll get my money one way or another. <sighs> and that is why I don't tell anybody I'm a billionaire. They just come after your money. You can't tell anyone, Connor. I won't tell anyone, Dad. Good. Now, let me order us some dinner. <laughs> gotcha again. You're no match for my skills. <laughs> yeah, uh... Good job. Hey, why'd you let me win on purpose? What? I didn't let you win. Dude, I've known you since kindergarten. I can tell when something's up. It's on your mind. Ugh. <sighs> You're right, Jimmy. There's been something I can't just shake off. What is it? I can't tell you. Look, man, I, I think I'm just gonna go home. Hey, no, no, no. You're not leaving until you tell me what's wrong, man. All right, all right. The first secret, I have an older brother. What? How's that even possible? I know it's crazy, but it's true. And I met him. He's kind of a jerk. <sighs> Man, I'm so sorry. I know you've always wanted a sibling. Yeah, but he's just not the sibling I had in mind. You said that was the first secret. Is there another one? <sighs> Look, if I tell you, you can't say anything to anyone. Not even your mom. I promised my dad. Hey, I promise. Swear on our friendship. I won't tell anyone. Okay. My dad is secretly a billionaire. Your dad is a billionaire? Hey, shh, keep it down. Your mom's home. This is so cool, dude. You're stupid rich. I know, but no one else can know. And you promise not to say anything, remember? I promise. Your secret is safe with me, bro. Thanks. That doesn't change anything between us, right? You're not gonna just come after me or my dad's money? On second thought, can I have 100K? What? <laughs> Dude, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, got me for a second there. Please, don't tell anyone. So, this new phone has an amazing camera. It's perfect for capturing high quality photos and videos. So, I can take better selfies for my Instagram? Uh, yeah, sure. Slay, I'll take one. Thanks. Connor, I need to see you in my office. Okay, Dad. I know you told Jimmy I'm a billionaire. What? No way, I, I would never- His mom called me this morning, saying Jimmy was chanting, my best friend's a billionaire after you left his house the other day. <sighs> I told him to keep it to himself. I'm sorry, Dad. It's fine. Now that I think about it, it's better that I don't have secrets. Yeah, I agree. It was kind of driving me crazy. And I know that Jimmy's a good kid. And he's not going to be after us for our money. So I'm not mad. In fact, I want to give you something. What is this? It's your first credit card. It has a $100,000 limit on it. Since you know the truth, and I feel bad about lying to my son, the card's yours. Dad, don't apologize. I'm not mad at you. I get it. And I don't need a credit card with that much money on it. Just take it for emergencies then. Or whatever you want to use it for. Well, okay. 
Thanks, Dad. I'm happy I raised you right. You don't let money change you or rule your life. Well, you taught me to work hard for the things that I want. And that's why you're gonna get the family business one day. Wait, I am? Of course. Nova Tech will be yours. And I'm happy it's going to you over Nathan. Nathan would probably just run it to the ground. I actually want to talk to you about Nathan, Dad. I was thinking... Not now, son. Let's just get back to work. So, uh, what do you think? Dude, this is so sick! You look great! Thanks, man. I kind of like this stuff. Are you buying this with your new credit card? No, I've been working hard, so I saved up enough for this on my own. I'll just use the card for emergencies. What is this? What are you wearing? What's your issue, Nathan? I'm mad that dad has given you the money that should be going to me. I know he gave you a credit card by now. Let me see it. No. Ha! then you don't even have one. I guess he doesn't really love you, does he? Yeah, he does. Take a look. Ooh, Amex. That's nice. Thanks, stupid idiot. Uh, no, get back here. Give me back that card. Okay, yes. Thank you again. Goodbye. Well, I canceled the card. Should get a new one in a few days. I'm sorry, Dad. I can't believe I let Nathan just steal it from me. It's not your fault, Connor. It was an accident. Well, he's gonna find out that card got canceled eventually, and he's probably gonna get mad and come back for more money. Look, enough talk about your brother. I can't do it anymore. No, Dad, you can't keep avoiding this. We need to talk about Nathan. Ugh, <sighs> fine. So what are you worried about? I'm worried about what your brother told you, saying that I didn't love you. Well, I know that's not true, Dad. I know, but I'm worried Nathan is trying to mess with our family. He's clearly willing to do anything to get what he wants. Well, maybe he's just mad he got cut off. I mean, if he got over it, maybe he could change and we could be a family again. He's made his choice. Now he has to deal with the consequences. He's no longer our family, and he's definitely not my son. I don't know. Maybe he can change. Man, these cars are sick! What do you think of this one? It's cool, but I don't know if this is the one for me. Okay, uh, what about this one? Uh, the color's just too flashy. Okay, dude, what's going on? We're here car shopping, and it seems like you hate every single one. Yeah, I know. I just have a lot on my mind. <sighs> Let me guess. You're thinking about your brother. Of course I am, dude. I was thinking, maybe I should try to reach out and connect with Nathan. Maybe invite him to my birthday party. Well, it's a place to start. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, okay, now this is sick. This is the best and most expensive car on the lot. This has been my dream car for years. You should totally get it. Dream car, huh? So what do you think? Is this the one? Oh yeah, this is definitely the one. But can I have two of these? The one in the black and the one in the red. Two of them? Of course! Duh, the commission on this is going to be insane. Let me go ahead and go get this started, shall we? Two cars, huh? Man, you are turning into a real billionaire now. Yeah, sort of. But just one of them is for me. The other one's for you. What? Uh, no, 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 no. You can't do that. Yeah, I can. You're my best friend. And if this is your dream car, I'm getting you one. Oh my gosh. Thanks, bro. Woohoo! Okay, I think this is where he likes to hang out. I mean, if he loves money so much, I bet he'd be here shopping. Yeah, I just got the new iPhone. I'll be back at the penthouse in like five. There he is. Hey, hey, Nathan. Oh, great. Hey, wait, stop. <sighs> what is it? Did dad send you to stalk me or something? No, dad doesn't know I'm here. I just wanted to talk to you, man. I mean, I'm your brother. Didn't dad tell you? I'm a spoiled brat with no job. That's it. That's all I am. Well, I think you can be more than that. I want to invite you to my birthday party. It's going to be on a yacht, so it should be cool. Why are you being so nice to me? Because I've always wanted a brother. Now that I know that I have one, I just want to get to know you. That's it. Well, according to Dad, I'm not a part of the family anymore. Well, maybe you should just come and talk to Dad. Try not to act so spoiled, and maybe you can come back to the family again. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. Look, just give it a try. You might be surprised. Just... Come by my birthday, please. Yeah, maybe. Hey, Graham, where are you? God, you were the worst assistant ever. Oh, sorry, dude. I was making your iced coffee. Here you go. Ah, whatever. So your bank account update for today says uh, $45.72. Ah, uh, don't remind me. All right, Graham, I need you to clear out my calendar for Friday night. But uh, you don't have a job and you don't really have friends, so your calendar is completely open. Ah, perfect. Because I 
have a birthday party to go to. Oh, well, that's great. Is it one of your quote-unquote billionaire friends? Uh, no, it's my little brother's birthday party. What? Connor invited me to his birthday party to get closer to the family. But I thought you were just going to steal your dad's money. I tried that, and it's not working. But now I have a new plan, and I'm closer now than I was ever before to finally getting what's mine. Dude, this is crazy. I know, maybe my dad went a little overboard. Ah, dude, you're partying like a billionaire, which you are, and you need to accept it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. This is actually pretty cool. And hey, that chocolate fountain is pretty cool too. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, Nathan, you're here. Connor, what is he doing here? Chill out, Pops, he invited me. You don't belong here. Connor, why did you invite him, seriously? This is what I want for my birthday. I'm gonna trust Nathan, and I want to get to know him. If that's what you want, fine. Nathan, I was thinking, how about you start working at the tech store? I mean, you don't have a job, and you could probably use some money. What? No, no, I don't work. And I would never hire him. All he would do is upset customers and probably steal from the store. No, I wouldn't. That's what you've done to me, and I'm your father! This is just a big waste of time. Nathan, wait, come back! Dad, why did you have to do that? Wouldn't you be happy if Nathan was back in the family? Yeah, of course I would be, but only if Nathan changed his ways. I'm gonna go get some cake. Enjoy your party, son. Whoa, you live here? In this penthouse? What's with all the boxes? Did you just move in? Ah, uh, no, I have to leave since I can't afford the penthouse anymore. Oh, that sucks. Where are you gonna go? I have nowhere to go, Connor. I don't have a family. I don't have friends. I'm gonna be homeless. What? No, there's no way. Look, I I'll talk to dad. Maybe I can convince him to let you come home and stay with us. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Connor. It means a lot that you would help me. Well, of course, dude. Look, I'm gonna make sure you won't be homeless. I I'll talk to you later, okay? Thanks for falling right into my trap, you little idiot. So, Connor, what do you think? Dad, hold on. Did you? Yes, I did. This is our new home. What? This is crazy. Just wait till you see inside. Come on. I figured since the billionaire secret's out now, it was time we finally upgraded our home to something that suited us a little better. Wow, this is great, Dad. And, uh, how many bedrooms are there here? 12? Maybe 13? I don't remember. Okay, cool, cool. Connor, I can tell when you're trying to scheme up things. And yes, if you want, Jimmy can have his own room here. I'm sure he'd love that, but that's not what I'm thinking about. Then what is it? I was thinking about Nathan. He's gonna be homeless and I think we could probably let him- No! Come on, Dad. Do you really want your own son to be homeless? <sighs> I don't like the idea, but- I'll let him stay in the house. That's only because I have a security system installed here. Thank you, Dad. I can promise you're not gonna regret this. Did you hire staff? Can they put this in my room? No, we didn't hire staff, Nathan. Dude, you're here. Yeah, now show me my room. All right, come with me. I was thinking this one could be yours. What? Oh, no, 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 no. This is too small. Too small. Uh, okay, well, let's go see if there's another one. Hey, what about this one? Oh, uh, this one's gonna be mine. Yours? Are you kidding me? You don't deserve this. I do. Connor already moved his stuff in, Nathan. This is his room. Well, he can move it out, can he? I want this room because it's the biggest. Dude, no. Hey, look, I need space for my hobbies. You know what? Fine. You can have this room, all right? Let's just stop arguing. Okay. At least someone here cares about me. Move your stuff out immediately. Ugh. <sighs> I don't like this, Connor. Just give him a chance, Dad. Change is hard, but I think he might surprise us. Yeah, let's just hope it's not a bad surprise. Ugh. Connor, can we talk? Dad, look, I know Nathan threw a fit this morning because we don't have heated floors in the bathrooms, but I promise it's not Nathan. I'm sick of talking about him. Just come to my office. Okay, Dad, what is it? I'm starting to get a little nervous. Don't be, this is good news. The Novatech is launching a brand new store. Oh, wow, that is great news, Dad. The thing is, our new location is halfway across Roblox, so I'll be gone for a while to start it up. Oh, I get it, and you 
can't run both stores at once. Exactly! And that's why it's time I give you the tech shop for you to run from now on. Me? Now? Are you serious? I know it's sooner than expected, but you're gonna run it eventually one day. Might as well be now, so you can do whatever you want with the store, you know? You're in charge. Whoa, okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll be taking some of the senior staff with me to launch the new store, so you'll need to hire some new people. I trust you with my legacy, son, and I won't let you down. I know you won't. Decline? Run it again, loser! <sighs> Fine. Yep, it says declined again. There's got to be some kind of mistake. Yes, you must not have enough money to shop here. How dare you! I shop here all the time! Not without money. No pools allowed in Iconic! Go! Go now! Here, wait, let me pay for it. Are you sure? Do you even know who this poor is? Yeah, he's my brother. How much is it? Well, it's $2,575.99. Dude, what did you buy? A pair of socks and a hoodie, duh. Well, your card was approved. Nice to deal with people who actually have money. Have a nice day. Stay iconic. Hey, man. Thank you so much for helping me in there. Yeah, what are brothers for? I mean, what was the problem with your card? He kept saying it was declined. I don't even know what that means. It means you have no more money on that card, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, it's gonna be okay. No, it's not. I can't be poor. Well, I told you, man, you just need to work for your money. How about you come work for us at the tech shop? Dad would never allow that. He would flip out if you hired me. Well, Dad put me in charge now, so I can do whatever I want. Just come work with me, dude. I wanna help you. <sighs> no, I don't work. Thanks for the offer, though. Glad to know someone cares about me. Yeah, of course I care about you, dude. You're my brother. <sighs> I just wish you weren't so stubborn. Wow. So he's officially broke, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Man, being broke sucks. I should know. I'm super broke right now. Thanks for buying me lunch, by the way. Yeah, of course, dude. Anytime. But I feel like there's another reason why you asked me here. There is. I do want to ask you something. Oh, yes, dude, yes! I'll move into your family's new massive mansion! That's not quite what I wanted to ask you. Okay, Mr. Mystery. What is it? I wanted to know if you'd come work with me at the tech store. Are you serious? Yeah, I am. I'm running a Novatech now, and I could really use the help. And I trust you more than I trust anyone. Gotta admit, having a job and working with my best friend would be pretty cool. So, is this a yes? Let me think about it, uh... Sure, why not? <laughs> okay, good. So I already filled out your application and gave you the job. You're hired and you start tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, what if I said no? I knew you wouldn't. Aw, <laughs> oh, shucks. So, dude, you're almost done with your first shift. What do you think? I'm actually having a pretty great time. Hey, bro, I need to talk to you. <sighs> okay, what do you want, Nathan? I was thinking, and uh, now I want that job. Oh, really? What changed your mind? I'm out of money, and I want an Apple Vision Pro. You just want the job because you want an Apple Vision Pro? And I want Dad to see that I'm not some selfish, entitled jerk like he thinks I am. Oh, well, I mean, you are my brother. I guess I can make an exception. Ah, thank you, bro. Do you want to start now? Ew, no. I'll start next week. I need time to prepare myself. For what? To lower my standards and actually work like a poor person. Are you sure you want to do this? I want to give him a chance. Maybe he'll prove us all wrong. Ah, home sweet home. Connor, I'm home. Dad, how's the new shop going? Well, the new staff is good, the location is even better, and we officially launch the new store next Friday! Oh, that's incredible! Aren't you ahead of schedule? I am, and I have big plans for this company, Connor. Just wait and see. What do you mean? I have a very special project I've been working on. I actually hid it in the vault at your store. I made a stop by before I came home. Make sure no one looks at it, okay? Not even you. Uh, okay. Well... I can't wait to see what you came up with. So, how's the old store coming along? Well, I hired Jimmy as the new sales lead, and honestly, he's been killing it. Well, that's great news. I know Jimmy had it in him. He just needs to apply himself. Yeah, and uh, I hired Nathan, too. He starts tomorrow. What? Are you serious? Yeah, of course, Dad. Calm down. 
Nathan really wants to change, I can tell. I think he's starting to come around. Ugh, I don't believe you would risk it. Hiring Nathan might be a big mistake, but you're an adult and it's your shop, so I'm not gonna tell you exactly how to run it. You'll be fine, Dad, trust me. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, whatever. Bye-bye. Did the last customer leave yet? Why do you have to be so annoying? I just asked you a question. You've been nagging me all day. I was training you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, we're closing for the night. Shut up, nerd. This is my assistant. Assistant? Uh, Nathan, sir, what are you wearing? Just some stupid work uniform. They made me wear this. Right. Uh, can I have a minute to talk to you in private? Yeah. Come step into my office. What? You don't have an office. Dude, what are you doing? Are you actually working here? I told you. You know the plan as long as it takes. Man, uh, he's up to something. I should record this. Uh, no, my phone is dead. Just be patient. My plan is going to work. Trust me, Graham. Yeah, whatever. I just better start getting paid for this. I have a bad feeling about this. I should tell Connor tomorrow. Eight, nine, ten? Huh. What's going on? There should be 20. Are laptops missing? Sup, bro? I'm going on break. Hold on a second. Nathan, you just got here. I know, and I hate it. Look, I was just doing inventory, and 10 laptops are missing. Did you take them? What? Me? What reason would I have to steal laptops? Well, I mean... Okay, so I tried to steal money from you and Dad before, but that was the old me. I changed. You know that. I know, but if you didn't take them, someone else that works here did. Well, Jimmy is poor, and he was here late the other night. Maybe you should ask him? Connor, dude, I need to tell you something. First, Connor needs to search your car. What? Ten laptops are missing from the store, and I need to question everyone from the staff. I don't really want to search your car. Well, I think that you should. Let's go ahead and have a look. Wow, wow, look what I found. There are 10 of these in here. Your little friend is the one stealing all the laptops. Jimmy, what's going on? I don't know how they got in there. Nathan must have put them in there. Stop blaming this on me. You're the one with the laptops in your trunk, huh? Shut up, Connor, you have to believe me. I believe I see our laptops in your car. I'm sorry, Jimmy, but you're fired. Connor, dude. Well, you better get going now, loser. <laughs> this is all just really odd. Jimmy is a good guy. Yeah, he is. Sometimes people just change. Well, I'm sorry you lost your friend today, son. Thanks, Dad. Why don't I uh, get us some takeout for dinner, huh? Yeah, get Lay Fancy Pants Restaurant. That place slaps. Okay, fine. Dude, don't look so upset, okay? Just get over it. I can't just get over it, Nathan. I'm still in shock. He was my best friend. You'll be fine. Oh, by the way, can I borrow your keys to the store? What? Why? I need to just go get my charger at work. Uh, all right, fine. Just make sure you lock up when you're done. You can't afford anyone breaking in and stealing more stuff. I know something isn't right about this. I just have to figure it out. Your brother is so stupid. He just gave you the keys? Dude, it was like stealing candy from a baby. So what are we gonna do? Steal everything in the store and just sell it? Are you really that stupid? We'll get caught. Oh, uh, right. So what's your big master plan then? We are stealing something bigger. Something that will make us even more money. And ooh, here it is. Uh, a folder? that has my dad's secret plans. I heard him talking about it to some stupid investor. He's building an AI robot. We're gonna take the plans, make our own, and get it done before my dad does. What the heck? I thought you said you disabled the security system. I did, but there must be like a backup or something. Ah, of course, that paranoid old man. Let's get out of here, now. Dad, how bad is it? Well, I mean, I think it's all right, but your dad says it's really bad, y'all. The plans I hid in the vault were stolen. Who closed the shop last night? It was me. 
Officer Rufus, can you go fingerprint my office? I need to know who stole my plans as soon as possible. Okay, I'm on the case, so that's fine. I'm gonna go do a fingerprint in y'all offums. Hey, y'all, anyone know how to do them fingerprints? Dad, I gave Nathan the keys to get his charger at work last night. He said he needed to come back here and get it. Ugh, Connor, I told you! I know, I know. But I thought maybe he finally changed. I mean, I thought he was doing better. Well, then where is he? Call him right now! Hello? Nathan? Dude, we need to talk. Ah, gotcha! I can't come to the phone right now. If you got money, leave your name and number and I'll get back to you. Ugh, he's not answering. Well, he has to come to work today, right? He has the day off. So, maybe he's at home? Then let's go get your brother. Before it's too late. Nathan? Nathan, where are you? He's probably in his room. What the heck? Everything is gone. Ugh, he took everything. Not everything. It's a note. It says, thanks for everything, Connor. Literally. I don't need you or dad anymore. Later, idiot. See, he hasn't changed at all. I just thought... No! You didn't think. You put your trust in someone that didn't deserve it. You turned your back on your best friend, blamed him for stealing, but it was probably Nathan. You're right. I see that now. Well, now it's too late. And now you put the future of our company at risk. I'll fix it, Dad. I, I promise. You better. Or I will be seriously disappointed in you. I think he blocked my phone. Jimmy's not answering my calls or my texts. I've got to apologize to him for what happened, but... Good evening, Roblox! I'm Chip Dazzle here with Action 5 News! We have a very exclusive guest tonight! The son of billionaire tech genius Edward, it's Nathan! You said you got a big announcement for the tech industry, huh? Of course I do! I am launching my own tech company, and I have a plan to develop a brand new AI robot! An AI robot? Wow, incredible! I am launching it this weekend at the new tech convention, and it's going to amaze everyone. I'm going to be richer than my dad now. I need to put a stop to this, but I can't do it alone. Come on, please be home. Hello? Hey, man, can we talk, please? No, we can't. Didn't you take the hint? Then you know what? Just listen. I know that Nathan framed you for stealing those laptops. He framed me? I told you his assistant was sketchy. You're talking about some sort of plan. I know, and I know what his plan was now. He stole all my dad's information on his AI robot. Yeah, it's all over the news. Look, you've known me my whole life. I've always wanted a brother or a sister or someone else there with me. I was so focused on trying to make things work with Nathan, I forgot who my real brother is, you. I'm really sorry, Jimmy. Hey, I get it, man. Apology accepted. Wow, really? Thanks. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about Nathan and his rip-off AI robot. I mean, there's no way he's going to be able to make it work. Does your dad have a copy of the plans he had? I mean, he is really smart, so he probably does somewhere. Then we should build our own AI robot. You better! I mean, that's a great idea. Do you think you could? You don't need to say another word. I'll help you make your brother look like an idiot anytime. We have a Novotech! Wow, thank you everybody! We're really excited to show you our brand new AI robot! This AI robot is your new personal assistant, chef, and housekeeper, all in one! And it will be available at our store soon, for an incredible price, so everyone can afford it! Connor, our AI robot is a total hit! This actually might boost our company after all! I'm proud of you! Well, it was both me and Jimmy. We did this together. Well then, I'm proud of you both. Now, please welcome our next presentation from Nate Tech. All right, hey, it looks like AI robots are all the rage now, huh? Well, my AI robot is so much better and it's very exclusive. Only rich folk can afford it. We even programmed it with a full suite of workout features. AI robot, do some jumping jacks. What? No! No! I know this was you! You sabotaged my robot! No, I didn't. I did. What? what? I knew you would steal those plans. So I put fake ones in the folder and left them in the vault. So you set me up! Sure, whatever. 
I wanted Connor to learn who he can really trust. I'm gonna get my revenge on you, old man. Uh, yeah, hey, idiot. <laughs> who started that fire? That was him and his stupid stolen invention. Yeah, okay, great. You're under arrest, Bob. Get off me, you fat, ugly loser. Yeah, it's not the first time I heard that, Bob. Let's go.